Welcome to the Daily Slog News Review. In our top story, Saudi hackers penetrated a number of Israeli commercial portals and revealed intimate identifying data on the Internet about thousands of Israelis. Local financial authorities' suspicions were first aroused when massive credit card purchases were surprisingly initiated during the broadcast of Big Brother. Suspicions were further strengthened when cardholders complained that they never purchased a camel on credit, certainly not in payments. Ramad Aviv residents were particularly incensed with the clothing purchased with their cards. Ixa, they cried, what Arab taste! The Big Brother reality show got a ratings boost this week with its new Survivor format. One Haredi contestant couldn't believe his good fortune. What fun, he said, finally an empty house with 16 children. Gilad Shalit was shocked by the format. Imprisoned together, he asked, for how long? And what hostage price did the terrorists demand? In criminal news, former Prime Minister Ehud Olmert, upon being indicted in the Holy Land real estate bribery scandal, reacted with pride at the unifying effect of his actions, noting how secular, Haredi, and even a woman were indicted together. The Foreign Ministry worked overtime this week in securing the release of Israeli backpacker Rotem Zinger, imprisoned in Chile on suspicion of causing an overwhelming wildfire at a national park, noting that they will bring him back under the condition that he immediately set off on a trip to Turkey. State Comptroller Lyndon Strauss offered his professional assistance to his Chilean counterpart in investigating the disaster, while Bibi sent to Chile the Google link to Super Tanker. Actress Natalie Portman visited Israel this week with her oddly named son, Aleph. In defense of the name, she compared him with the Israeli Prime Minister, named B.B. The bus wars are having an effect, with the Rav Kav card now being supplemented with the Rabbanit Kav. The Mea Shaarim demonstrators this week cried out in exasperation, Finally we wear a Magen David, and now they're attacking us? What do they expect, a nighttime demonstration in black clothing and we can't wear a light reflector? Yaffa Yarkoni, Israel's wartime songstress, died last week. President Shimon Peres eulogized her with the national hope that her replacement will be the songstress of peace negotiations. In the meantime, her stand-in is Margalit Zanani, Israel's criminal underground war songstress. A breakthrough was recorded this week in the peace negotiations between Israelis and Palestinians, as a date was agreed upon at which the negotiations will explode. Thanks for watching.